Hello, my name is Prerak. If you don't already know me, I graduated from UC Berkeley and I'm currently an MD MBA student here at Yale. I finished three years of medical school and I'm just finishing up my one year MBA and I'll be going back to apply next year for residency. I'm really interested in medical education, entrepreneurship, uh, and a bit more about me is going to be linked in the description. So today's program is going to be all about how to utilize Anki to learn diagrams. So what are diagrams and what is Anki? First and foremost, diagrams are actually things that are utilized in the hospital all the time. And the reason why they're utilized is because they save a lot of time. For example, this diagram at the top shows you, but if you internalize this diagram, for every patient, you can draw this fishbone out. And that way, each patient's sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarb, uh, creatinine, BUN, and glucose can all be in one place at one time. Similarly, this diagram on the left, this other fishbone, when you draw it in this particular way, that's a great way to represent the CBC, the complete blood cell count, which can include the hemoglobin, the hematocrit, the platelets, and the white blood cells. So by memorizing these diagrams, you will be giving yourself a huge leg up in the rotations because I kid you not when I say um, just by drawing these for each patient and having them internally memorized and knowing what values are there, you can make such an impressive impact on your attendings. You can say like yesterday the sodium was 137, today the sodium was like 138, yesterday the PT was, you know, something and today the PT is this. Yesterday he had a lymphocytosis, today that lymphocytosis have, has come down from 10 to 8. And these diagrams really make it easy for you to compare things because when you draw them, it makes life much easier. So now that we've talked a bit about what diagrams are, let's talk a bit about Anki. Anki is the flashcard app almost every medical student uses. If you didn't already notice, uh, the arrow is pointing that if you click right above, you are going to get a link to the Anki video I've made to discuss how to utilize Anki. So today I won't be going too much into the details. I will say that for this, you will need to have Anki downloaded and you will also need to have an add-on downloaded, which is known as the image occlusion add-on, which I'm going to link in the description below. Go ahead, download Anki, which is free. Also download the add-on, also free. And once you have both of those things, I'm going to now show you a step-by-step -step process of how to utilize that to memorize diagrams. So the summary is, step one is actually the knowledge. You need to know what diagrams are important and which ones are not. And I can tell you right off the bat, you should absolutely know this top fishbone, which is the sodium potassium. This is the BMP fishbone, the basic metabolic panel. It allows you to memorize, you know, pretty much all the basics that are included on a metabolic panel. You should also know this one, which is very frequently shows up. Most of your residents will know what it is. These other ones are not utilized as frequently, but if you know them, very big bonus points. Like people will be very impressed if you start drawing these out for any patient, especially as a medical student. And people are like, oh shit, you like know your fish bones. That's excellent. You should definitely keep that in mind because you will definitely be using that in residency. But this one and this one are very important. And then this one, the pH uh, ABG one uh, and this other fishbone, not as important, but can still be very relevant, especially for like if you had a patient who had cirrhosis uh, for whom these um, liver LFTs are very relevant. This is good. And someone with hematologic conditions, this one's also going to be good, the PT, PTT, and INR. So assuming you know what fishbones are important, download an image of those fish fishbones the second step is to then use an image occlusion add-on to blank out certain portions of that fishbone. And then the third step is to utilize, um, utilize uh, flashcards to not only memorize the parts of the fishbone, but then also internally remake that diagram in your head. So what do I mean by this? I'm going to show you firsthand by opening up my Anki and working through one of these together. Let's do it. So first and foremost, what you'll need to do is find an image of the relevant thing. So what I'll do is write BMP fishbone. And just by that, you will literally find a nice little template of the BMP fishbone. And when you actually find it, what you should do is press uh, save image as and, you know, save it somewhere on your desktop. I'll save it there. Now I move back over to my Anki cards. And assuming you have Anki downloaded and also have the um, uh, image occlusion add-on, click on this button because this is only going to be present if you have the image occlusion add-on. When you press it, it actually will open up, you know, images that you want to download. And I know for a fact I saved mine on the desktop. So you'll see that this will open up our image. And now that this image is open, you want to blank out each of these dots, right? Because you don't want to know what should be where. You want to figure it out. And by doing this, you're now going to force yourself to remember what each section is. And now that you've blanked each one out, you can actually say, um, hide all guess one. When you do this, it will hide all of them, but it will create seven distinct cards for each of the boxes you had. So watch, 
it says seven cards added. Now that you have these seven cards, you should do them and study them, right? Um, so I know that the top left is sodium, so that's a good one, and then it's chloride. Um, and it's, you can easily jumble this up. There's different ways to do that, but the point is you should do these flashcards over and over again until you learn each part of the fishbone. Once you have learned every part of the fishbone, then it's really important that you also create a separate card. And that card is going to be how do you represent uh, BMP using a fishbone. And when you do it this way, when you ask yourself this question, what you're essentially asking your mind to do is take each of these parts that you learned. It's forcing you to take each of these parts that you learned and put them together to actually create a big card where you physically have to recreate the BMP fishbone in your head. So now you actually should have cards that include how do you represent BMP as a fishbone and now you physically have to remember, oh yeah, remember it's sodium, chloride, BUN, glucose, potassium, bicarbonate, creatinine, right? Like you physically have to recreate it in your head and you also connect everything together by taking those discrete pieces of knowledge and physically doing the small image occlusions as well. So hopefully that makes sense. You should now repeat the process I just showed you with, you know, the CBC diagram. Let's say you learn another diagram in medical school that maybe I did not discuss here. This is also a great way to learn in those diagrams as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe because I promise you this will really help you in your clerkships and also your road rotations. So if you got any value out of it at all, drop a like and a comment and a share. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.